Hey everybody, in this video, we will explore a web LLM assistance, which is an AI web search. It's a tool that combines the power of large language models with real-time web search capabilities. So it uses platforms like Olama and Lama.cpp. This assistant delivers a context-aware responses by assessing up-to-date information. So the assistant processes user queries by generating relevant search terms and determining an appropriate time frame for results. So it performs web searches, collects data from top results, and extracts insight from the two most relevant sources. So if the initial information is insufficient, it refines its search terms and repeats the process several times, ensuring a comprehensive answer. So this approach makes it ideal for addressing queries about recent events or topics outside its training data set, bridging the gap with real-time data. So the Web LLM Assistance is a powerful tool for synthesizing information dynamically, offering accurate and time responses to user questions. So we'll go through the installation process and create examples using VS Code and Olama. All right, so here are some features. So it has a local LLM usage, so it can be used via the Llama CPP or Olama. So we also have a web scraping of search results for full information for the LLM to use. It has a web search which uses the Dr. Go for privacy focused searching. So we also have a self-improving search mechanism which refines queries based on initial results. It is rich, it has a rich console output with a colorful and animated indicators for a better user experience. Also has a multi-attempt searching with intelligent valuation for search results. So also has a comprehensive answer synthesis, which uses both the LLM language web search results and the script information from the LLM. Okay, so here, here is the process. So we are gonna be using Olama. All right, so before we do that, let's make sure you have Olama installed. So you go to olama.com. And here you go to downloads. So based on your system, you select your system. So I'm using Windows. I've already installed that. So I'm going to say download and you should follow the process. It's really simple to install. So when that is successful, you go here. And you, so when you see this icon, it makes that it is installed on your system. So we are going to head over to VS Code. Here I have my VS Code. And now we are going to start by creating an environment. So we are going to say Python dash MPEMV EMV. So when I hit enter, all right. So here we need to activate the environment. So we are going to say EMV slash script slash activate. So I'm going to hit activate. And when they see this icon EMV in the green, Color, it means that it's been activated. So what we're going to do now is we are going to clone. So let's head over to GitHub. So I'm going to copy this. And we say git clone. So let's clone that. Let's run it. So the next thing is we are going to, so we have our web LLM assistance folder. So we cloned that already. So we want to CD to this directory. So I'm going to click on this. I'm going to copy this and I'm going to say CD. So we are going to do a CD into this directory. I'm going to paste this and we are in. Move this up. Hit enter. Okay, so we are in this, pull this here. We are in this folder. So here, so the next thing is, let's install the requirements. So we are going to say, pip, up. Oh. 
clear this up. Okay, so pip install dash r requirement txt. So here are the requirement. So let's install that. So in the requirements, we are installing the Llama CPP that, that go search all this um, requirement to make it run. So let's give it a few. All right, so we have that installed. So now let's install Ulama. So uh, let me see, I already have Ulama. So Ulama. So I'm going to check Llama list. All right, so I have Llama 3.2 installed. So if you don't have that, so what I'm going to do now is Llama. I'm going to say Llama pool. Then you put the name of the model, your preferred model. So 3.2. All right, so I already have that. So I don't want to do that again. OK. so. What we want to do now is we are heading over to the LLM config pie to change our settings. So we pull this down. So here we have two types. So we have the Olama. So if you are using the Llama CPP, you need to specify the path of the model and change these parameters as well. So here we are using Olama. So the type is going to be Olama. And we are using the settings, the LLM settings for Olama. You just have to change. So we have the base URL already. The type LLM type is Olama. So we have our temperature. It controls the variability of the output to make it more creative. All right. So the higher the temperature, it means that it's going to be more creative. So we can change the context size as well. So what I'm going to do now is because we are using Llama, Llama 3.2. So we are using the latest, All right? So that is what I have here. So I'm going to just change the name. That's all that you have to do. And this code ensures that it selects the appropriate model. Okay, so I made some changes. I'm going to save this. All right, so what we want to do now is I'm going to clear this up to make way for this. So I'm going to pull this up. So we are running this by using Python web dot LLM. So this is what we have here. We hit enter. All right, so now it is ready. So when you see this web LLM assistance, LLM CPP it means that it's ready. So welcome to the web LLM assistance. So how this is how you want that to work. So if you want to type your questions or your query, so you're going to start by, you're going to hit the slash and we are going to type, I'm going to say what is the current. So it's going to perform a web search and give us the response. So it's going to do an iteration to get the best response for us. All right, so what is the time, current time in California? So let's try this out. California, USA. So when you want to run it, you say Control Z. Okay, let's do it. Control Z, so I'm going to hit Enter. So it's initializing the LLM for the first time and it's getting it ready initializing the web search. So we starting with the first attempt. So let's see how this goes. All right, so let's see how this goes. So it has given several results. So it uses the duck, duck go current time California. Okay, so it has a number of results. So it's done like 10 results coming out. So it's giving out the first result, the second result, time in California, 
and it's iterating through that United States. So using the world time server.com. So it's using the URL, which states the day and time in Los Angeles City, California, United States now. And you say the time in Los Angeles is normally three hours behind the time in New York, but because the time tools don't share the same that same start and end times for for daylight savings. So it's specifying that it's extracting the information. So it actually does web scraping from this URL and the results for number five. It says current local time in Los Angeles. So it's giving us the Los Angeles, the current local time in the US. All right, so it's also extracting that and it's exploring this, the sunrise and the sunset moonrise. So from this URL, so it, it gives several results and gives out the best responses for that. Okay, so here is the results for the last one. Okay, all right, so it's case, so it wasn't able to give the exact, but it was able to give at the uh, days, which is, so we was able to give out the date, which was today, Saturday, November 16, 2024. All right, so it create the United States calendar more holiday. So it has several responses that was given out. And finally it says the current time used as is not available as the script content only provides the calendar for the United States without specifying the exact day and time. So the content also does not provide a real time. All right, so it was able to give out the day and the time, the the day and the date, which is correct, but not the exact time zone. All right, so let's ask another question. So I'm gonna say slash, what is the current? Okay, let's say, what is the latest news? on AI advancement. So I'm gonna say enter. So let me say control Z and hit enter. So it's initiating the web search. So it's implementing the duck. It's implementing the duck go search. All right, so let's see. So it's giving us so I split it out the so it has about 10 results given out so let's start from here and it says that so it's using the duck duck go search and then it's giving out number of results from results one artificial intelligence results two it's giving out the ai so the latest headline development is on routers and it keeps the URL link and also has the resource three. So always provide the URL link for that too as well. So what is next for AI 2024, right? Right, so it's giving us more information on 2024, which makes it, which provides updated information as well in 2024 with the URL of 2024. All right, so it seems to provide some context in terms of the web search and giving out updated information, which is awesome. So it gives out even the date, which is November 7, 2024. And here, November 12, 2024, probably this is like somewhere this week um, or last week, yeah. So it's still thinking. Yep, yep, still thinking performing a second attempt all right guys i this is really great tool and what excites me is it's free to use right at true llama so you can try and explore a lot of these use cases um it could even you can even try it on stock getting stock information as well all right, so just try it and let me know how you think about this tool. I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to share and subscribe. And
behind. See you in the next one.